I can't find somebody like me, what other option do I have? Bottoms up. Hello friends and welcome to Small Town Creative. I am Michael Masters, a creative professional in the small town of Ovid, Michigan. That's O-V-I-D. Today we're talking about friendship. <sighs> friendship. Ugh. What do you know about friends? What do they really know about you? Uh, <laughs> When you say the word friendship, what sort of things come to mind? Michael, this is a deep question that requires careful consideration before answering. Does it really matter what me as the viewer has to say about friendship? Or, I could just assume that you wanted to get my gears turning in anticipation for the remainder of information you're about to share with me. Okay, I think I processed your question and I'm ready for you to continue. And three, two. When you say the word friendship, what sort of things come to mind? Well, last week I asked the same question in a place where friends just love to hang out. Facebook. Facebook. Here's some of the things they had to say. Dependability, love, laughter, grace, and wisdom. <gasps> These are like the foundations of friendship right there. Alcohol. And gossip. It sounds a lot like high school. Pop music? Yes. Every single day. I'm so impressed. Brad says the Goonies, and it just wouldn't be complete without sports. And here's my favorite, a ship made out of friends. Thank you, Megan. The visual imagery is so vivid. I like to think that the best friends are the ones you're with, and you can't help but say these two words, me too. When you share an interest with someone, you each have something to offer to the other and there's always something to talk about. For example, take this short sketch that my buddies Jordan, Alfred and I put together. This is a great example of when a common bond, in this case, clapping each other into non-existence, unites people. Unfortunately, there's always those times when we need somebody to collaborate with. <laughs> and nobody's available to play. That's really sad. It is sad, but let me encourage you with a story about how I solved that same dilemma using only my imagination. Only your imagination? And some video equipment. And lighting that my Uncle Jerry gave me. Anything else? Some props, the help of friends and family, and a completely original song with the help of my friend Tim Kish. I hope you enjoy it. When I was alone, I had an idea I'm making a friend in my imagination I start him in here and build him in there I then print him out with laser jets And then to the workshop to cut him out of magical wood I'll stand on the edges and spray with the gloss Until it looks so good The greatest love I feel Is many enough for two I wouldn't be so alone. I thought I was facing an impossible situation when I remembered something my unusually intelligent daughter told me. When the physical presence of a friend is impossible, technology kicks in to form a new kind of friendship. 
the digital kind. Thank you. I began the search for a digital individual I could connect with online. <laughs> That's not what I was looking for. <laughs> Social media groups? They're useful, but I do need someone that's available at the drop of a hat. <laughs> Hire somebody? <laughs> That'd be nice. Do we even have the money for that? Uh, mm. I just know that there's somebody out there who just loves to make things, sing ridiculous songs, and eat peanut butter out of the jar as much as I do. George Bernard Shaw said, that life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. If I can't find somebody like me, what other option do I have? Bottoms up. Dizzy. <laughs> wow, what an inspiration. I was so glad that Michael found someone who was so much more than what he was even looking for. We're going to learn a lot more about Busy Dizzy in episode two of the Small Town Creative. Now, if you think you liked this video, click the like button below. It's a good way to say, hey, Mike, I don't just think I like, I know. Also, if you want to be in the loop, I'd love for you to join the tribe. YouTube can help connect me to you. All you have to do is subscribe. Before we wrap up, I have a question for you. What's one thing that your best friend does for you that nobody else can? Let me know in the comments below. Your response could be in the next video. All right, guys, that's it for me. I'll leave you with this nugget of wisdom. Be more bizarre today than you were tomorrow. See you next time.